The space industry once seemed out of reach, even for the wealthiest individuals. Only powerful nations like the U.S. and Russia could develop rockets, spending billions of dollars each year. For a long time, space technology remained unchanged, until Musk and SpaceX proved that everything in the industry could be done differently. Musk founded SpaceX just two decades ago, and in that short time, the company introduced reusable rockets, which were unheard of before. They developed Starship, the largest rocket ever built, and most importantly, they created Crew Dragon, the world's safest space capsule. What sets SpaceX apart is that they never stop refining their technology. Even after a groundbreaking innovation, they push forward to improve it further. Recently, their updates to the Dragon capsule have taken space travel to an entirely new level. For years, astronauts had to endure cramped cockpits full of buttons and switches. Older spacecraft like the Mercury, Apollo, and Soyuz were small, complex, and uncomfortable. That changed with Crew Dragon, which is spacious and user-friendly. Since the space shuttle program ended in 2011, NASA astronauts had to rely on Russian Soyuz capsules. These worked, but were not comfortable. Crew Dragon has a spacious interior, measuring 4 meters in diameter and 8 meters in height. It provides high ceilings, allowing astronauts more room to move compared to earlier spacecraft. The capsule is designed to carry four astronauts comfortably, but can be configured to seat up to seven. The seats are arranged in two rows, maximizing space efficiency while ensuring accessibility to the control interfaces. In 2023, a coolant leak in Russia's Soyuz spacecraft forced NASA to modify Crew Dragon's seating arrangement, adding a fifth seat for emergency use. This adaptation demonstrated Crew Dragon's flexibility in handling unexpected mission challenges, further solidifying its reputation as one of the most reliable spacecraft in operation today. Crew Dragon is built for comfort. It has four large windows giving passengers stunning views of Earth and space. The seats are made of carbon fiber and soft Alcantara fabric. Astronauts can set the cabin temperature between 65 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The spacecraft also includes a toilet, called the Crew Dragon Waste Removal System. It is located on the ceiling, but astronauts rarely use it because their digestive systems slow down in space. Crew Dragon can be modified for different missions. For private flights that don't require docking at the ISS, the docking port can be replaced with a dome window. This gives passengers a panoramic space view similar to the International Space Station Cupola. A key feature of Crew Dragon is its modern touchscreen control system. Older spacecraft relied on hundreds of buttons, dials, and manual controls. Crew Dragon replaces these with three large touchscreens, making navigation easier. The displays show real-time data on position, onboard conditions, and destinations. Doug Hurley, an astronaut on Crew Dragon's first mission in 2020, said the system is user-friendly and constantly improving. Crew Dragon also autonomously, meaning astronauts don't need to control it unless something goes wrong. SpaceX ground controllers monitor every mission and take action if needed. If the ground team can't fix an issue, astronauts can manually control the spacecraft. For safety, Crew Dragon has eight Super Draco engines for emergency escape. Unlike older spacecraft that relied on a separate escape tower, these engines are built into the capsule. If a launch emergency occurs, they can fire instantly to move the spacecraft away from danger. Crew Dragon also integrates key systems like life support and thrusters into the capsule instead of a separate service module. This makes the spacecraft reusable and efficient. It uses solar panels built into the trunk, eliminating the need for deployable panels that could be damaged. Since its first crewed mission in 2020, Crew Dragon has dominated U.S. commercial space travel. It has completed 15 successful missions and carried 56 astronauts from different countries. It also plays a key role in space station operations. Crew Dragon has even been used for emergency missions. NASA and SpaceX plan to use it to bring home two astronauts stranded on the ISS due to issues with Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. Starliner was meant to compete with Crew Dragon, but has faced delays and technical problems. While SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft continues to advance, Boeing's Starliner program has faced significant challenges, leading to its eventual cancellation.
In 2014, NASA awarded Boeing a $4.2 billion contract to develop the Starliner spacecraft, surpassing SpaceX's $2.6 billion funding for the Crew Dragon. Despite the larger budget, the Starliner program encountered numerous issues from the outset. The initial timeline projected operational flights by 2017. However, the first uncrewed orbital flight test in December 2019 failed to dock with the International Space Station due to a software timing error, resulting in an incomplete mission. A subsequent uncrewed flight in May 2022 achieved docking, but revealed additional technical problems, including issues with the spacecraft's propulsion system. In June 2024, NASA astronauts Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams embarked on Starliner's first crewed test flight to the space station. The mission, intended to last eight days, extended unexpectedly due to helium leaks and thruster malfunctions detected upon approach to the station. These issues rendered the spacecraft unsafe for return, leaving the astronauts stranded on the space station. NASA decided to bring them back aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft, highlighting the reliability of SpaceX's system. The astronauts remained on the space station for an extended period, underscoring the severity of Starliner's technical failures. Boeing faced substantial criticism over these setbacks, compounded by internal controversies. In 2024, then-CEO David Calhoun made headlines for his $35 million annual salary amidst the company's ongoing struggles. This drew public and industry scrutiny, especially as Boeing's aerospace projects, including Starliner, experienced significant delays and cost overruns. In October 2024, Calhoun stepped down and new CEO Kelly Ortberg assumed leadership. One of Ortberg's first major decisions was to cancel the Starliner program, acknowledging the insurmountable technical and financial challenges. Financially, the Starliner program resulted in significant losses for Boeing. The company incurred approximately $1.6 billion in charges related to the program since 2016, including a $125 million loss reported in the second quarter of 2024 alone. These figures, combined with the initial $4.2 billion contract, brought the total expenditure to nearly $5.8 billion. The decision to cancel the program aimed to prevent further financial drain and allow Boeing to refocus resources on more viable projects. The astronauts have now been aboard the International Space Station for approximately 264 days, far exceeding their originally planned eight-day mission. NASA has since decided to bring the spacecraft back to Earth without a crew and instead use SpaceX's Crew Dragon to return the astronauts, with a targeted return date around March 12th, 2025. Their prolonged stay on the space station raises concerns about the effects of long-term spaceflight on human health. Extended time in microgravity causes muscle atrophy and significant bone density loss, particularly in the lower body, due to the lack of weight-bearing activities. Studies have shown that astronauts lose about 1-2% to of their bone mass per month in space, increasing their risk of fractures upon returning to Earth. Additionally, the sterile environment of the space station alters the immune system, making astronauts more susceptible to infections. Without Earth's natural microbial exposure, their immune responses weaken over time. Radiation exposure is another concern since the space station orbits outside of Earth's protective atmosphere. Astronauts are exposed to high levels of cosmic radiation, increasing their risk of developing cancer and other radiation-induced conditions. Psychological stress is also a factor, as prolonged isolation and confinement in a closed environment can lead to mood swings, anxiety, and depression. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.